Happy Thursday, everyone. Let's get you caught up. Hurricane Milton made landfall last night as a Category 3 storm early this morning, making its way off Florida land and out into the Atlantic Ocean, kicking up some extra waves for our beaches, by the way. But this will be moving away from the United States, away from land. So some good news there. On the other side of Florida, Tropical Wave Invest 93. This has a pretty good chance of strengthening in the coming days. But again, this one will be moving away from the United States and away from land. We've got Hurricane Leslie by the way, just to the uh, south of that one. It's also going to follow a similar path being steered away from us. As we take a look, live Super Doppler 4 radar showing clear skies. It is going to be a little bit breezy to windy at times today. Some of those gusts 20, 25, maybe 30 miles per hour, and then they'll start to die down as we go throughout the afternoon and throughout the evening. So again, breezy to windy at times today, but a whole lot of sunshine. It is going to look and feel very nice out there back in the low 70s, a little bit cooler out there this afternoon. Look at that though. Wall to wall sun all across the region. Tomorrow morning will be a little bit colder than this morning. Tomorrow afternoon about the same low to mid 70s, so it's going to be pretty nice. If you're hoping for warmer weather, well, we warm up a little bit heading into Saturday and Sunday. Even Monday, Columbus Day will be a bit warm, but a cold front coming through will change that, pulling in even colder air for next week. Next week is typically the time much of Western North Carolina sees their first frost and that will likely be the case heading into next week with those cooler temperatures. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Slightly below the seasonal average for the next couple of days heading into Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Across the upstate, we warm up. Monday, Columbus State is a holiday. Just a reminder, lots of things may be closed. As we take a look at Tuesday, Wednesday, though, we're talking about 60s for daytime highs across the upstate. Look at that, 30s and 40s for overnight lows in the mountains with 50s and 60s for daytime highs on the those days as well. Well, happy Thursday, everyone. Hurricane Milton now on the ocean in the ocean. Yet again, the Atlantic Ocean as it is moving away from Florida, still giving a little bit of wind and rain on the backside, but moving further and further away from land, away from the United States. In fact, this will continue to dissipate or die out in the coming days as it moves away from us. As we take a look at the impacts here from Wilmington all the way down to Hilton Head, look at that. We've got some high seas and some breezy to windy conditions at times on the coast, but that is it. Not much at all in the way of rainfall locally across the upstate western North Carolina, northeast Georgia. We've got clear, dry conditions. It's sunny. It's blustery at times, a little breezy. Some of those gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. These winds will ever so slowly die down as we head into tonight. And that's a good thing because it's going to be colder tonight and tomorrow morning than it was. So expect another cool down overnight. We'll awaken to clear, cold conditions as we go into the afternoon tomorrow and Friday. Look at that. I mean, our future radar is moving. Moving, but nothing is changing because our sky conditions are going to be so clear. So clear skies over the next couple of days with a slight warming trend. It'll be a very quick warm up as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Going back into the upper 70s, a couple of us in the 80s. Here comes Columbus Day, a cold front. Look at that. It's going to pull down some Arctic air from Canada, and that is going to produce the coldest air so far this season, starting Monday night into Tuesday, and will linger through next week. By the way, not only is it going to be colder air, it's going to be drier air. So no chance for rain for a long, long time. Temperatures in the low 70s, below the seasonal average for the next couple of days, mid to upper 70s, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Columbus Day. Then colder air arrives, dropping into the 40s and 50s for overnight lows. We'll be in the 30s and 40s for overnight lows across the mountains with the first frost likely in western North Carolina by the middle part of next week.